this whole life thing, it's, I mean, how do we do it? It's always changing and you think you know one thing and then you realize that you don't and then, you know, at the end of the day, you just really don't know anything and then, you know, it's kind of better to not know anything to know something because we really just all don't know anything at all. So, you know, the moment that we think we know something, then we're just kind of fooling ourselves. Um, that's what I think, at least. Um, I have been really negative lately. Uh, I've been focusing on the things that don't serve me. I've been focusing on what I don't have rather than the things that I do have. And what I do have is absolutely incredible. I mean, I have a roof over my head. I eat organic. Um, look at this hat. How great is this hat? Um, and yet I've, you know, been creating this spiral downward even of you know, being sad of, you know, oh, you know, I don't have enough money to do this and, you know, to do that. And, you know, I want to be teaching more and, you know, it even costs money for studio space, blah, blah, blah. And it just has not been serving me. And I'm so done, so done with that mindset because it's all perspective and energy follows attention. And I'm done putting energy into the things that I don't have rather than the things that I do have because it's not fun. It's, it, it kind of sucks. And uh, I don't want to live that way. And I definitely was in practice of being an optimistic person and positive. And, you know, just recently I've somehow fallen out of that pattern. I think there's just been a lot of transitions going on. And what's beautiful is to have daily practices of meditation, of moving, of writing. That is the practice of getting me back into balance, back into alignment. And it's, you know, not just doing the act, but having the intention behind it. So when I do those practices, I'm now saying I'm doing that to focus my energy or focus my attention on positivity, on being optimistic of seeing the cup half full rather than half empty. And it's, a, it's catching myself, you know, and it's a practice of the increments of getting shorter and shorter to just fully embodying it. And yeah, it's not going to happen overnight. I don't expect it to, uh, yet uh, it's important, especially thank you for holding me accountable just by sharing this video, brings me into more joy, peace, and momentum of having the action of my thoughts and my words and my physical actions all coming together to start generating this positive outlook on life because why should we look at it any other way? And by me doing this work, I hope that it's only an inspiration for others to do this work because when we are all in a state of alignment and thinking positively, we are more present. We are connected to the incredible nature around us, to the earth, to the truth that we exist. And the only truth is universal law, the energy that's going and moving in us all the time, rather than our minds that are blocking us from actually being connected to everything going on around us. So... <laughs> I am a positive person. I am an embodied leader. I am living in my truth. I love life. It is amazing. And I love that everything's changing. And I love that I don't know anything. So yeah, that's what's up. Thank you. See you later.